Now I'm going to teach you how to trigonometric equations type 2. So before solving this, let me tell you this. There are several ways to solve a trigonometric equation. In fact, you can solve this using graphical method. But the problem with the Pearson and Excel curriculum is if you use graphical method, you won't get full mark. In fact, it's mentioned there. If you go through your past papers, you will notice that it is clearly stated there using graphical method is not allowed. So you cannot use graphical method. So we are going to use the ASTC diagram to solve this. So this one, I call it uh, type 2 in harder trigonometric equation because you have plus 75 or minus some number. So the method I'm going to teach here is slightly different from your textbook method. If you look at the method in your textbook, they have added this 75 to the limits. So what will happen when you add, add this 75 here? It becomes 75 to 360 plus 75, 435. So what will happen when you add, right? If you look at the ASTC diagram, your 75 starts somewhere from here and you need to go all the way to 435. These extreme values are some kind of weird limits actually. So that's the reason I, I'm not going to follow this method because I don't want to disturb my need values here. I have 0 here, 360 here. So I'm not going to do this method. I'm not going to add 75. But when you don't add something, there is one extra step you need to do at the end. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to keep it as the same thing 0 to 360. Now find the principal value theta plus 75 is tan inverse of root 3 which is 60 degree. Now go to the ASTC diagram. Our limit is 0 to 360. Tan is positive here and here. So it's theta and 180 plus theta. So theta plus 75 degree is theta, which is your principal value, and 180 plus theta is 240 degree. So now you need to listen to me very carefully. Since we have skipped this limit, if you add 75 to this limit, right, this becomes 435. So what I'm going to do, I'm not going to add 75 here. I keep this limit as the neat values, 0 to 360. But when I use this ASTC diagram, I'm done with 0 to 360 already. So I have completed all the quadrants in between this range. Now I'm going to go off the limit out of this 360 and find one more quadrant where my tan theta is positive. So I'm going to start from 360 now. When I go second round, in fact our limit is 360 only, we are supposed to stop here. But we are not adding 75 here. That's why you need to do one more extra step here. I'm going to start from 360. When you go second round, look for a quadrant where your tan theta is positive. It's here, which is 360 plus theta. So our solution is 360 plus this 60, which is 420 degrees. You see, you skip one step here because we don't want to mess up these uh, limits. But you need to add one step here. You always need to go out of this your limit and find one more extra solution. Now subtract 75 from everything. Theta is when you subtract 75, 60 minus 75 minus 15 degree. 240 minus 75 is 165 degree. 230, 240. 420 minus 75. Is 250, 200, 345 degree, 410, 420. We have find the principal value, use the same limit, do not mess up the limits, find the two solutions and then start from 360 and go off the limit and take one more extra solution because we are not adding 75 here. That's 360 plus theta and find all the solutions. Now once you got all the solutions, you have to compare these values with the original given limit and check all these values fall under this limit. 165 is inside, 
345 is inside but negative value it's off the limit so your theta is 165 and 340 that's the solution here have you noticed something the extra value we have taken here is a part of the solution now so if you don't take this extra value you're gonna miss out one solution so you're gonna lose more this is how you solve harder trigonometric equations type 2 now here I have taken one more question from the same exercise here the same thing if you look at your textbook they have subtracted pi over 9 from the extreme values which I am not going to do that because I don't want to disturb my limits just put the 2 here sine theta minus pi over 9 is 1 over 2 find the principal value which is sine inverse of half which is pi over 6 that's the principal value now draw the ASTC diagram our limit is 0 to 2 pi 0 to 2 pi find all the quadrants where your sine theta is positive so it's a and s it's theta and pi minus theta so pi minus pi over 9 not pi by 2 pi over 9 is the two solutions are theta and pi minus theta theta is the principal value pi minus theta and then again it's harder trigonometric equation type 2 so we are not going to subtract pi over 9 from this when you subtract pi over 9 this limit becomes minus pi over 9 theta minus pi over 9 2 pi minus pi over 9 that's the textbook method which I'm not going to follow since we need to subtract pi over 9 here we are adding 75 so you need to go off the limit and take the next solution one extra solution here we subtract pi over 9 so you need to take one previous solution not a next solution or positive plus you are adding plus here so this 360 move to 435 so you need to take one value after this 360 but here you are subtracting so the limits are moved this way so I want you to take one previous limit so from 0 now if you go clockwise direction take one uh, one quadrant where your sine theta is positive so when you go clockwise direction here your sine theta is positive negative I'm talking about negative limit so it's a negative pi this will be negative pi negative theta so your next solution is negative pi negative theta and then simplify bring the pi over 9 here so theta will be pi over 6 plus pi over 9 you simplify this 5 pi over 6 plus pi over 9 minus 7 pi over 6 plus pi over 9 so the first value here it's supposed to be pi over 9 5 by 18 pi come on 17 over 18 pi come on minus 19 over 18 pi so once we got all the solutions our last step is compare the solutions with the given actual limit so you need to compare these values with the given actual limit so you need to find the value of 2 pi also in decimal so this value is 6.28 etc so if any of these values falls off the limit that means less than 0 or more than this ignore the value definitely you need to ignore the negative one because our limit starts from 0 to 2 pi find the values of these two the decimal values of these two answers and check whether they are less than 6.28 so I have verified both these values are less than 6.28 so these two are the valid solutions so I'm gonna repeat this one more time here you have taken one extra value here that's a part of the solution but in this case the extra value you have taken is not a solution that's fine but do not miss out the extra value if it is positive you take the next value from 360 if it is negative you take the previous value from the lower limit if it is zero you need to take the negative value so that's how you solve type 2 trigonometric equations
In this question number A, there is a part A and part B. Part A is a trigonometric, harder trigonometric equations type 2. So first step, find the principal value sine x plus 20 equals sine inverse of half, which is 30 degree, and draw the ASTC diagram. Our limit is 0 to 180. So you don't need to take the whole circle. In this two quadrants, your sine theta is positive in here and here. So it's theta and 180 minus theta. So your x plus 20 degree equals theta, which is the principal value, 180 minus the principal value, 150. And then since it's type 2, we are not messing up the limit, given limit, by adding 20 degrees. So we need to take one extra solution here. So you need to start from 180, go one more round, and find where your sine theta is positive. It's not here, it's not here, it's here again. So when you reach here, it's 360, so it will be 360 plus theta. So 360 plus 30 is 390. Now subtract 20 from everything, x is 10 degree, 130 degree, 370 degree. We got three values. Now compare the values with the original given limit. So 10 degree and 130 degree are within the given limit. You can ignore this one. So your solution is 10, 130 degree. That's how you solve it. This one, harder trigonometric equations, type 1. Since you have 2x here, you multiply the limits by 2. So it's 0, 2 theta, 360 degree. 180 becomes times 2, 360 degree. So when you find the principal value, ignore the negative sign. Just take the value. So the principal value is 2x equals 36.7 degree. Now draw the ASTC diagram. Our limit is 0 to 360. Cos will be negative in here and here. So it's 180 minus theta, 180 plus theta. So your 2x will be 180 minus the principal value, which is 143.1 degree, or 180 plus theta, which is 216.7 degree. Divide everything by 2, that's your final answer. 71.6, 108.4 degree. Here there is one more thing you need to take note. Try not, try not to round the figure in between the calculations. So when you take the principal value, if you have 6, 5, etc, etc, something, keep the value as it is. And then when you do the calculation, use the actual value. Do not use the rounded figure, because if you use a rounded figure, you will have slightly different answer here. So use the actual value and find the x. Finally, you round it to one decimal place because the question says find the answer in one decimal place.